I'm here with Otumba Roshewe, and we just welcome the Nigerian delegates right here at OR Tambo International Airport, Johannesburg, South Africa. Now, Otumba Roshewe, please do tell us, why are these delegates here? Well, thank you very much. Basically, our delegates are on a fun trip. We believe the 2010 is around the corner, or the 17 is here in Nigeria. We need to interact with other African countries to set up a synergy of developing tourism and making tourism a strong contact in Africa. But not many people know Nigeria as a tourist attraction. So what is it that you would like people to know about Nigeria for tourists to come in and flock in like any other country? Let me be honest with you, Nigeria has a lot of tourism potentials, particularly in the strength of ecotourism, cultural tourism, sports tourism, entertainment tourism, and so many others. We have one of the best caves in Africa. So those that don't know Nigeria, we're using this opportunity to invite them to Nigeria to come and see the best of cultural tourism in the history of Africa. So do you see any similarities between the tourism industry in South Africa and the one in Nigeria? There are, and that's why we've chosen South Africa as our first point of call. What's your hope well, for the outcome of their visit here? Well, the outcome is to have a new look, a new focus of developing tourism. So what is the one line that you would sell Nigeria with to everyone? Nigeria is the best secret in terms of tourism development that Africans have not realized. So I invite all, everyone to Nigeria to come and see the best of cultural and the best of tourism while tourism is life. My pleasure and honor to formally introduce to us that great son of Nigeria is our great ambassador in those countries. It gives me the greatest pleasure uh, to be with you in Joburg this afternoon. I have never seen a man who is so passionate about tourism than this man. The only reason I want to share a few words with you is because I know that tourism is the greatest thing today in the world. But tourism cannot go away because people must travel. Yeah. People must eat. I don't know anywhere in Africa where we have food more than Nigeria. So tourism is not just about going to swim at beaches. Tourism is about what you have to offer as a nation. Internal tourism alone in America is enough to sustain their economy. I want to let you know that in my journalism career, I've traveled to a at least about 60 countries. And in those countries, I've learned a lot. There is nothing that can educate you more than to travel. Because everywhere you go, you come across new ideas. We have a lot that we can also sell. We have good music. Now everywhere you go, people are playing, you are my African queen. So how do we package those boys as tourism ambassadors? If you look at our movie, Thanks to African Magic, there is no way you go today in Africa that people are not talking about our movies. It's just about building a culture that would attract attention. And so these are some of the things that I wanted us to consider as we come here. So we don't just come here on a visit and go back the same way we came. And I'm very happy that we have a strong man like Otumba to take you around. And uh, I want to salute your passion. And uh, may God bless all of us. Amen. And uh, may your deliberations here be very useful to our great country. God bless you all. We are here on a mission, and I said we are going to make a statement. Right? We are going to, everybody that supported this program we are doing is going back with a certificate of honor. The first to receive that is Chief Dele Momo. Chief Dele Momo. With the pride of Nigeria, we are proud of you, and of, I want to assure you that we are going to continue to be our ambassador. This is my pleasure to present you. Thank you so much. Well, well, well. Well, the Director General of TVC, so thank you, you are worthy of this. 
It means you are actually thinking tourism, you are living tourism, you are even drinking tourism. So on behalf of ATDC and the entourage to South Africa, we present to us. Okay, next to me is a true Nigerian ambassador and the internationally acclaimed Mr. Dele Mamadou, known to most of you as Bob D. Hello, sir. How are you? Very well, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, so what do you think about the um, tourism initiative that the um, Otumba has brought to South Africa? I mean, uh, Otumba Shekunrushewe is a man <laughs> who has so much passion for tourism in Nigeria. A lot of people think, oh, you cannot have tourism in Nigeria, but the man has been able to demonstrate to all of us that with the right people in the right places, then we can get things done. Nigeria, I can tell you, would sooner than later become a major tourism destination in the world. So this is the time for us now to repackage Nigeria in a way that Nigerians can travel and get to know their own country. And that is why this initiative is very welcome. So what has been lacking in the past? Why haven't we promoted ourselves in the no, past? Why now? It's the will. The will. If you don't have the will and the zeal to do anything, you will never do it. Okay, let's look at pra practicality. Um, you, do you think the Nigerian environment is conducive to welcome the world to come on holiday in Nigeria? Of course. Nigeria is a place where everybody is friendly. I don't know of anybody who will be treated like you are a foreigner. In Nigeria, you can get there today and settle there tomorrow, and nobody will ask you questions. You must be a good host. And I can tell you that in Nigeria, we don't have any such problem. Chief Dele Mamadou, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the delegates started their second day by visiting their South African counterparts. Information was exchanged and grey areas cleared. This is uh, some things that are, are something that I prepared for you that came from the United World Travel Organization World uh, Trends Report that was released last year looking at the specific prospects for 2009. The arrivals are forecast to obviously drop to 1.5%. I've already alluded to that. And, uh, but 2009 became a very difficult year to forecast. Um, but what we've seen is we have released our four-month figures. We have seen that there has been a decrease. Uh, in terms of the of the arrivals, because we have a, a between one to one and a month leg before we actually re the release the, the, the figures. The majority of, of the of the people that come through are from Lagos, as you can see, and then Abuja also, as well as uh, Port and uh, Port. When people coming in, we do research and going out, we do research as well. But it's it's, it's just mainly a computerized type of research. If we look at spend per day, and this is one of the things that I've said also, that we do see that there has been uh, quite a tremendous increase uh, in 2004, 2005, it dropped a bit. One of the things that we're very proud of is the fact that we've launched something called a package portal. What this is, <clears throat> in essence, is the, um, a portal that allows the trade partners in Nigeria to upload their uh, packages in here. Because we found that the internet usage is quite high in the Nigerian market. So they can, any special that they have, they upload it there. And South Africans as well, any specials that they have, they load it uh, on, on here. And then this is something that we've recently introduced and we do know that it's gonna go, um, uh, uh, it's, it's gonna go well. First and foremost, let me quickly address Diane's issue. Diane, it's not completely, well, it may be correct before now. For instance, golf tourism, most expatriate, only know we have golf courses in Abuja and Lagos. Mm. They don't know. Mm. But we've succeeded to produce a document having 65 golf courses in Nigeria. We've done a documentary on some preferred destinations, mm. which is the part one. Mm. The part two is coming up after this, our farm train, which every state, you know, we have 36 plus Abuja, 37, and also we have about 40 to 150 million people. So we have to take our segments of tourism, regionally, state, local government, and in some cases, up to council level. So we've done a documentary here. Okay. You meet so many, you said you've met three Nigerian delegates. Mm -hmm. I can fault it that you've met the wrong delegates. This is part of what we're trying to address. Mm -hmm. Not anybody who just come and said, we are Nigerians, we are doing this. No. And I want to make this passionate appeal with you. Even those people who've given accreditation in Lagos, 
and Abuja or whatever, yeah. until we confirm to you that they are genuine people and they are the right people to deal with. Because first and foremost, they need to register with NTDC mm -hmm. before they can operate. This is government to government. Yeah. Because if there's any fraud, you cannot come out and say Nigeria have defrauded you. We will disown you completely. Mm -hmm. we, why don't you deal with the right authority? Mm -hmm. So that when there's anything, we can always come out and tell you this is what has happened. So that's the appeal I really want to make to you. On a final note, just to look at everything, I've also you said we should look at www.southafrican.net slash Nigeria. I also ask you to look at, uh, no, for the other one, to look at www.nigeriantourism.com. Yes, we also put a product there. And also our website, www.tourism.gov.ng. You can even register online now. So very soon, before you do business with anybody, it's very important to check our website to know who are those that are registered. I think the chapel has come to join us in this photograph. Okay.